Greetings to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. I'm here specifically to bless you and to speak these words over you, brothers and sisters. And also remember that uh, every day I have uh, videos that are released on a daily basis. And I also have weekly live streams where I pray for you and encourage you and I let you know about the goodness of God. Some of you, these are words that are going to direct you. These are words that are going to give you clarity in what you are going and what you are facing through. Whether it is the storm, it is the fire, whether enemies have surrounded you, whether you are there all by yourself, I want to encourage you that these words are going to guide you to the path that is your destiny. Now, my brothers and sisters, if you are new to this channel, I would like you to subscribe, turn on all the notifications, and also share the word of God. These words are very powerful. Dear brothers and sisters, today's amazing word is you are wiser than all your enemies. Every single day, every single moment you spend in the presence of the Lord, you become wiser. You become 10 steps ahead of your adversaries. Those that have been pursuing you, those that have been seeking to destroy your life, they are going to be disappointed because they will not find you. You will be 10 steps ahead of your enemies. The Bible says it this way about Daniel, that Daniel was 10 times wiser than the magicians, the sorcerers, and all those that practiced all funny things like witchcraft, uh, all those that uh, were against God. Daniel was 10 times wiser than everybody in the kingdom. 10 times, not one time, not two times, not five times, but 10 times. That is a huge margin. That is a huge margin. So if you keep on meditating on the things of God, if you keep on uh, meditating on the word of God, you are going to be wiser. Look at Solomon. Solomon was wise. Wisdom was given unto him to the extent that even his enemies could come to him and seek for guidance, seek for clarity. It's like as though he did not have enemies. That is what wisdom can do. Wisdom is a defense to you. Yeah, wisdom is like a defense. So is money. Hmm. So, but brothers and sisters, it is important that you keep yourself in the Lord. The Bible says it clear that this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night. You are supposed, you are required, it is a requirement as a child of God to meditate on the word of the Lord day and night. Not on the day, because it is not only the day that your enemies are looking for you. Even at night, actually at night is when your enemies intensify the search. Because they know many people are sleeping. So, be awake. I'm not saying being awake like physically as all, the, all night you're awake with your eyes open. No, in the spiritual realm, be awakened to the things of God. Oh yes, because you are spirit. Though you have the body, you are spirit. Now, today's word is from the book of Psalms, chapter 119 to 97. Psalms, chapter 119, verse 97 to around... 101. The Bible says it clear. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. You, through your commandments, make me wiser than my enemies. For they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers. For your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than ancients because I keep your precepts. I have restrained my feet from every evil way that I may keep your word. I have not departed from your judgment for you yourself 
have told me. The reason as to why the psalmist wrote this word it is because it was a very powerful thing that he was going through. The Bible says it clear that the psalmist actually acknowledged that he loves God's law and it is his meditation all day. He meditated on the word of the law. On the word of the Lord. The Bible says, you through your commandments make me wiser than my enemies. You are wiser than all your enemies. Every single day you are becoming wiser. As they are outdated, you are always updated. Do you see those that have laptops or that have, um, of course, that are Windows, Windows, you realize that um, they will send you updates on maybe on a monthly basis or I think it's on a monthly basis where, where they send you updates. Even your phones, they send you updates. So God also updates your vision. Hmm? The way you are standing. He gives you new revelation that makes you wiser than your enemies. The Bible says, I have more understanding than all my teachers. Even your teachers that, are, that keep on teaching you. I'm talk when I say teachers, I'm not talking about teachers like those that are in school. I'm speaking about your supervisors. Oh yes, your supervisors at work. Your co-workers. Your bosses. You are even wiser than them. Sometimes there are things that they do that you wonder. Why is this person my supervisor? Oh yes. You and you and the Bible says, I understand more than the ancients because I keep your precepts. I have restrained my feet from every evil way. It is important to restrain your feet from every evil way. Brothers and sisters, don't worry about what is happening in your life. Don't be caught up in people's uh, problems. Don't be. Don't be caught up. Don't be caught up in meaningless battles, arguments. No. Whenever someone stares up an argument, just forgive them and walk away. Don't be caught up in things that will not add value to you. Things that are not important to you. Always focus on the word. Be focused and focused on Jesus. The reason as to why a lot of people sink, the reason as to why a lot of people fall, is because they are focused on the storm. They are focused on their surroundings. Instead of focusing on their goal, instead of focusing on Jesus, their eyes are put on the other things. I pray for you tonight, as you go out into the world, as you are in at your workplace, that God gives you focus, that God gives you clarity in whatever you are going through. May you overcome each and every single adversary that has come up against you. Brothers and sisters, let this be a prayer that is for you. Brothers and sisters, I've come to the end of this uh, powerful word. I hope it has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Until next time, shalom.